Okay, this is an example of sistering floor joists in a crawl space. What we have here is a uh, two by six floor joist holding up an original tongue and groove subfloor right here. Here's a line of sill. That's a main sill on the home. Just behind me is a secondary line or a shaker sill. I'll point out that in a second. But up here is just floor joist uh, problems that were chewed up by termites. So that material was left in place. It's deteriorated and just breaking apart. And the technique to fix that is sistering. So we've got two bad joists right through here. It doesn't pass the screwdriver test. So I just punch my screwdriver in, it sticks and holds, and then I can break that apart. What that's sitting next to is a new two by six floor joist, sister two. So you can tell now, here we've got a new one, old one, and a partial old one. Here's the only problem with this sistering, that it goes from that sill over here and it extends across, but is loose right here, right above me. So now when I try to tap on this floor joist, you can see it shaking right there because it doesn't extend all the way across to this sill. Turn around, it stops right here, doesn't extend to this sill, so it's actually not providing any support over here. So now we're back to a deteriorated floor joist with termite damage from the past. So anytime you sister, you really wanna make sure you go from support sill all the way across to support sill.